There's no film in the thingy. Musty film. Musty, musty, musty. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Let's go check on her first, because she's probably shooting herself. Are you okay? Miko. Ma you. Miko. Oh no, it's nothing. I just had another bad dream. Do you want a hug? Come on. Yeah, you want a hug. Oh, it's morning. I want to see more ghosts. Oh well. No, 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 no. She's, I bet she's not in her room, is she? Maybe out downstairs doing something. I need to get that mattress checked. Oh, that's specs about cameras and photography. All right. We are gonna need to get that mattress to look like. Look at that mattress. It's got a graphic glitch. But the graphic glitch is what make this game fun. Ha ha ha. Good morning, Ray. Good afternoon. I believe it is the afternoon, thank you very much. Where'd you go? Ghost! Ghost! Hello? You okay? <whistles> you okay? Oh, she doesn't look happy. Ray? Here. What? Ray, about that photo of the doll on the skewer, I uh, wasn't able to find anything on it. I thought it may be similar to the legends of the straw dolls passed on in, in Tono. Anyway, it has something to do with folklore, so you might find something in one of you's books. Okay. Thanks, I'll go take a look. Ray, I was interested myself, so I did some research on that lullaby. You were interested in it too, right? Hell yeah! In a mountain of the Mutsu region, there is an old lullaby that was... Oh, 12 fucking pages! Oh, whatever. That was only passed on to certain villagers. The sleeping priestess first one. Sleep child, go to sleep. Sleep child, go to sleep. If you cry, the boat will ride. The boat, blah, 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 Within the same mountain chain, the song the sleeping priestess was only transmitted to a certain number of villagers. The dissemination is thought to be dependent on the elements such as the villagers' road and location. This is very complex. As with the usage of the word princess implies, as this song is thought to have its origins in the indigenous folk rites given to the methods of transmission. What the fuck? As for the lyrics themselves, the opening, like sleep child, go to sleep, calls child into sleep. No shit. The next part, if you cry, the boat you'll ride, the boat to the other side uses words like boat and the other side which is suggestive of banishment it can be taken as a stanza of a threatening song which is to frighten the children into sleep the bib you shall wear can be understood to depict you will be dressed up to go after should you fail to lie still the inclusion of the frightening words you will be punished impresses abomin uh, domination, I'm guessing, upon the child. Perhaps as the once ceremonial song changed into a lullaby, it's metaphorphos- oh, I can't pronounce that fucking word. Metaphorphosis <laughs> into the threatening song so common in the Mutsu area. The sleeping priestess verse 2. Sleep child, go to sleep. Sleep child, go to sleep. You should wake from the, your slumber at night where- <laughs> I can't say it. The second verse develops in a very similar way and makes use of the same elements. If you should wake, threatens that if the priestess should wake during a ceremony, in the lullaby this means sleep, the woken priestess or child will have her limbs pinned by stakes. These wooden, these great wooden stakes may be a remnant of a religious phrase, as at the last part, lest the doors open wide and the others that sleep wake too. There is a shift from familiar story centering on the priestess, which is the child, to an uneasy end. 
both vague and large in scale. It is thought that this expresses religious fear, such as the dread of the underworld. That was quite an interesting read. Thanks, I'll just borrow this for a bit. You added the legend of song into your file. If you need anything else, just let me know. Why, thank you. Whoa! Crazy. She's a ghost. She's a magician! Now you see her. Now you don't. <laughs> Freaking crazy. You're not sitting in the corner again, are you? Good, good. I'm a crazy woman. I'll step on you again. And go. <laughs> fight you for my red room. Pictures come out of the pair of Buddha statues that were in the room with many sacks hanging. Can I figure out anything from these statues? Well, if you say you can't, then. You know, you go ellipsis at the end. I'm guessing you can't figure anything out. God. Excuse me. This looks like the tattooed skin on the altar on it. I can make out a kind of snake-like pattern. You can? Oh, yeah. Maybe I can figure something out from this design. Oh, it's not a very prominent snake-like look. That's all. Open to the me, because this door is my master. Thing, thing. I wonder where the cat is. I see my face reflected in the mirror above the wash basin. Ooh, creepy. What is this reflective material? Oh crap! Whoa, that was you. You walk fast. The corner's an ornamental like a lot of nightmares lately. potted plant. Right? What? Is there something? What the hell? What? Eh? I would. I'm I'll let you know if I find anything. What? Get with there! What? I was reading about the plan. <laughs> I mean, we were looking at the plan all the way over there for some reason. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like back when I was a child. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. You need a hugs. It's raining again. And she's back to saying it's raining. Is it? Is it? Why is it always raining? I have to say. Matt. Let's call for pizza. 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 TV gonna turn on again. There's a cat. Lazy cat. This house is fucking huge. I want this house. Minus all the ghosts and that. Otherwise, I want this house. There are typed and handwritten letters and several books left on the desk. <coughs> I'm guessing we're going to have to look in the bookcase. Or if it is. Uh Bookshelves are full of volumes and anthropologies. All books you used for his work and ones that were published by his company. There was a time when I used to be interested in them, but it was only a, a, a passing phase. In the bookcase is the book Occ oh, whatever. Occultism, something like that, that Akamura wrote about in his letter. Looks very old. Three pages, alright. 